which is the position of the prostration. And you should not look around or anywhere else. Those who look up, down, right or left, they void their prayer and they lose their khushua by doing so. Aisha, the mother of the believers, may Allah be pleased with her, narrated that whenever the Prophet ﷺ would pray, his eyesight would not depart the position of his sujood. We also notice that the Shaykh is standing in a position facing the Qibla by his entire body, even his toes facing the Qibla. Now, uh, placing the hands in their position, we see that the Shaykh is placing the right hand on the left hand on his chest. The Prophet ﷺ used to do so, as in the hadith of Wa ibn Hujr, that he observed the Prophet ﷺ in his prayer, and he was putting the right hand on the left hand on his chest. He said, Sallallahu in one hadith, we are the prophets, we're commanded to put the right on the left. Uh, you may actually grab your wrist with the little finger and the thumb, and that's one position, or you just place the right hand on the left one on your chest. Now, before doing anything and reciting any recitation, the person would like to begin his prayer with a beautiful supplication. The supplication is known as Dua ul Istiftah, the beginning supplication. It is uh, the tradition of Prophet Muhammad وسلم, to recite certain supplications as we would hear the <coughs> Shaykh reciting so. Allahu Akbar Kabira, Walhamdulillahi Kathira, Wasubahan Allahi Bukratan wa Asila. وجهت وجهي للذي فطر السماوات والأرض حنيفا وما أنا من المشركين إن صلاتي ونسكي ومحياي ومماتي لله رب العالمين لا شريك له وبذلك أمرت وأنا من المسلمين Beautiful supplications were prescribed by Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم and there is many more such as Allahumma ba'ad bayni wa bayna dhunubi kama ba'adta bayna al-mashriqi wal-maghrib. Allahumma naqini min khatayaya kama yunaqa al-thawbu al-abiyadu min al-danas. Allahumma ghsilni min khatayaya bithalji wal-ma'i wal-barad. The musalli may recite any of them. And if he or she is memorized all of them, that would be excellent to recite them before beginning the actual recitation of the salah. Now, after the beginning supplication, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded us in the Quran that prior to the Quranic recitation, that one should seek refuge with Allah from the outcast Satan. فَإِذَا قَرَأْتَ الْقُرْآنَ فَاسْتَعِذْ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانَ الرَّجِيمِ So that's why in the beginning of the prayer, the musalli would recite al-isti'adha in different forms as the shaykh is going to recite. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم Or he may say, أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم مِنْ هَمْزِهِ وَنَفْخِهِ وَنَفَثِهِ Well, this recitation of al-isti'adah or seeking refuge with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be only in the beginning of the prayer in the very first rakah and that's it. So that we would not have to repeat it again before each recitation. And now we're beginning with one of the pillars of the salah which is reciting Surah Al-Fatiha. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said that if one does not recite Surah Al-Fatiha in his Salah, his Salah is invalid. فَهِيَ خِدَاج, فَهِيَ خِدَاج, فَهِيَ خِدَاج, it is defected. And he would begin by reciting Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim in himself secretly. That was the tradition of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, then reciting Surah Al-Fatiha. الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين 
اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين ما شاء الله It is prescribed for the imam and for the follower as well, whether you're praying by yourself or in congregation, after reciting Surah Al-Fatiha, each time to say, Ameen. I would like to alert the viewers to a very important thing. The beginning supplication is to be recited secretly, as well as seeking refuge with Allah, Al-Isti'ada, as well as Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Whether you're praying in your, uh, by yourself uh, as single or leading the prayer as an imam. Ameen is a very good practice that if your Ameen coincides with the Ameen of the angels, all your sins will be forgiven, as the Prophet وسلم, said in one hadith. That indicates it's not only you who's praying and not only you who are saying Ameen, but the angels too are listening to your citation and they too say Ameen. Inshallah, we'll continue next time, so please stay tuned. I'll leave you in the protection of Allah. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.